Hi, Nicole Young here with a quick tip on how to non-destructively dodge and burn in Photoshop. Dodging and burning is just a way to add brightness and darkness to your image in certain areas. And I like to do it so I can go back and re-edit it or change it, even remove it if I don't like the overall effect. So let's get started. The very first thing I'm gonna do is go over to the layers panel and add a brand new blank layer. Next, I'm gonna fill it with 50% gray. I'm gonna do this by holding the shift key and hitting the delete key. It's shift backspace if you're using a PC. I'm gonna select 50% gray from the contents panel. Click okay. Next, I'm gonna change that blending mode to overlay. I'm gonna back up just a tiny bit. One thing to understand is that you don't actually need to have this layer as 50% gray. The reason that most people do this is so that they can actually see the changes on the layer. If you just have that checkerboard background, you can't really see the changes you're making. And what the overlay blending mode does is it takes anything that's dark and makes it darker and anything that's light and makes it lighter. And 50% gray is a neutral color, so it just makes it invisible. So now I'm gonna jump into the actual dodging and burning to make this image pop a little bit more. What I want to do is I want to darken the sky and I also want to add a little bit more brightness to the wood on this pier. So in order to make the sky darker, I'm gonna paint it with black. If I start out on a brush, first of all, you wanna have a brush and you wanna have a pretty soft, so turn your hardness all the way to zero. If I were to start painting, it's at 100% opacity. Right up here, that's a little too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. I'm gonna change my opacity down to around 15, 20%, somewhere in there. And just to note, you can change your brush opacity real quickly just by using the numbers on your keyboard. If you hit one, it goes to 10, two to 20. If I wanna go back to 15, I just click one five kind of quickly. Now when I start painting, just kind of small brushes, lifting up frequently. You can see over here in the layers panel that we have a nice dark black area. And if I were to toggle that on and off, you can see the actual changes that it was making. So now to get the opposite effect and make something brighter, I'm gonna to switch to white. Over here in the tools panel, we have our colors. I'm just gonna hit X to switch it to exchange my palette. Change my brush size quickly using the bracket keys. And then just paint away. And I think I'm gonna go back to black by clicking X. Make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna paint in a little bit of a vignette on the sides. And we can actually see the changes that I'm making here in the layers panel because of that 50% gray background. Also, if you wanted to change the actual opacity of the layer, you can do it here from the layers panel just by moving the slider back and forth. 